So growing up in the 70s and watching TV as a young kid, not realizing I was watching Poison and being brainwashed into crap. Uh, like, for instance, the Jetsons. He, the guy was working for Spacely Sprockets and Cogswell Cogs, and he was just working on the assembly line and going nuts, having to deal with the crap they had to put up with while his wife and his daughter went to the, to the mall to shop after they gave him... He always would start the, the show. He'd go to work. And he would hand her some cash, and she would just take the whole wallet. And they got that down to a pack. Except the only shit part they didn't show you is that she wouldn't be living with him anymore. She'd be being in probably Spacely or Cogswell Cogs, his boss, and paying him. And the guy was probably banging her on the side. That's what really goes on. And I don't care if you think it's vulgar, but that's what people do now. Okay, you got women going to cage fights that they have to kill each other in an octagon ring. It's not enough for men. It's not enough for. It wasn't enough for it to be, uh, you know, Jean Claude Van Damme and uh, what's his name, Chuck Norris, to be in the Octagon movie. Now it's real, okay? So you should be satisfied. Maybe you'll be in there one time too, like uh, in the movie Escape from New York, where Kurt Russell has to snake Bliss and is forced to, to a death fight, and also be on Thunderdome. Mel Gibson, the guy you love to hate, right? You're still gonna go down. Right, uh, you got a you got a plaque in in uh, the Georgia Guidestones. It's a death threat against you and your whole family. Ha 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 ha! Say Kyle. So anyhow, the best part about the Jetsons is that they didn't show you where you press one for English, or you know, hey, please please call, tell me what you're calling about. Talking to a robot. He didn't show you freaking out having to deal with robots and crap. You want to find out how your aunt's doing or something. She's in the hospital. There's no one else out looking. You got to deal with whatever you got to deal with. You're trying to help her and make everyone happy because this is the kind of person you are. And you got to talk to automated phones go nuts. It's very dehumanized. Welcome to Hitler land. I hope you enjoy it. It's we speak in the English. Yeah. Da. We live here too. <laughs>